I'm looking forward to it. Here are my requests. Oh my, you've already fulfilled the requirement. Marvelous. Oh my, you've already fulfilled the requirement. You must know. I feel quite motivated. I will await a report of success. Come to think of it. I will await a report of success. A shame. A report of success. Oh, yes! By all means. By all means. Of course. By all means. I will await a report of success. I've been waiting for you. Oh my!
You have my thanks. Very well, then. Good day. I shall be waiting, then. Are you accepting a request? Come to think of it. I will await a report of success. a request very well then good day are you accepting a request I've been waiting for you So this is a shrine. It's quite similar to a temple, is it not? A mysterious presence lurks here, though it is markedly different from a shadow. Well then, I shall first observe the local traditions and pay my respects. I wonder if this is enough. a problem? I'd heard that the effects of this mystical divine grace were proportional to the amount offered. In any event, I have finished presenting my offering. Come to think of it, this system of monetary offerings is very similar to that of the fountain. There are a great many locations in your world where supplicants may request good fortune. You live in a truly wondrous place. Could those paper strips tied there be... Just as I thought. These are paper fortunes. I've heard of this game. People entrust their destiny to a slip of paper, finding the risk far too exhilarating. I see. There are many possible destinies written on them. Well then, I'd like to experiment with this for myself. Please wait here while I work on obtaining every single variation. Excuse me. I've been curious ever since we arrived. But what is that equipment over there? If memory serves, these are a slide and a jungle gem, correct? I see. In the presence of a true god, upholding a pretense of gravitas is all but meaningless. What a magnanimous and introspective message. If that is the case... Fascinating. In order to attain joy, one must first claw one's way to the very top. This playground equipment teaches a profound lesson on the true way of the world. Well, that was certainly entertaining. Now, could you please instruct me in the proper use of the jungle gem over here? Get out. Oh dear, it's rather difficult to maintain one's balance. Today was even more enjoyable than our other outings thus far. Hmm. To 
to be honest, lately I've been wondering, do I find this world enjoyable simply because of the novelty of the stimuli it presents? Or another possibility, perhaps I enjoy myself on these excursions because of your company. In any event, I believe I'll have to negotiate with my master to install a horizontal bar in our room. I'd like for you to accompany me again sometime, if you wouldn't mind. Well then, I suppose we should call it a day. But before we do, I'd like to go on the slide one more time. Shall we seize the opportunity and go in tandem? Accepting a request? Let's hear the results. Come to think of it. Very well then. Accepting a request? Let's hear the results. Oh my! <laughs> you have my thanks. Very well then.
Let's go out to eat! What do you want to get? Burger for Wild Duck. <laughs> Come on, let's go. So, the other day, Mom and Dad, they talked to me about why they were getting divorced. It was sad. But I listened to the whole thing. Did I do good? You. So, Mom and Dad, they said when there's no love, it's hard to stay married. But they said not to worry, because they would love me no matter what. So I told them, it's okay if they get divorced. It must be hard to live with someone you don't love. Hey, so... I have to choose if I want to live with mom or dad. Who do you think I should pick? Yeah, I love my dad. He always buys me toys and stuff. Mom cries all the time now. I don't want her to be all alone. Maybe I should go with her. If I go with mom, I might have to move somewhere far away. And then I won't be able to play with you anymore. That's no fair. I miss you too much. You better get home. Hey. Will you hold my hand on the way home? Have we received a new mission? I don't know, but the alarm's not ringing. is designed to help control his persona. Basically, it's an evoker for dogs. Wait, does that mean Korumara was going to fight with us? I honestly wasn't expecting this either, but the test results show it's quite possible. In fact, it was actually a request from the chairman. We'll be looking after him here in the dorm. Koro-chan, is this what you want? He says, I'm returning the favor. Man, you're one loyal dog. Hey, sounds good to me. I, for one, welcome him with open arms. The more the merrier, right? Who cares if you're a dog? All right, I'll take him for a walk. And it's the perfect time, because it's summer break! Yes, it is. You're free to enjoy your vacation, but don't forget about your schoolwork. Summer classes start next week, so don't lose focus just because we have a lot of time off. Uh, summer... wait, what'd you say? Summer classes. Did you not hear about them? We're going to be taking supplemental courses. I've already applied for all of us. I know how difficult it's been to balance both school and our late-night excursions. I'm sure you haven't had much time to study, so I apologize for that. The chairman agreed it was a good idea as well. I could have sworn I told Takeba and Yamagishi. Are you serious? First I've heard of it! Oh, um, sorry. 
I completely forgot to mention it. No way! Hey, you're the one with the worst grades here. Why are you so surprised? Come on! I want to hear it. <laughs> this sucks. Don't you think? Uh, well, it's only for a few weeks, so let's do our best. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Registering is overriding acceptable. All registered. This is your progress so far. Please take a... So you'll be summoning this one? Very well, it's yours. Are you finished? We look for...
You're late. I was just thinking about leaving. You've been coming here a lot too, huh? Uh, are you all right, kid? You know, financially, paying for the drinks here? High school kids don't have much money, do they? At least, I never gave much to my son. Kids have ways to make money these days. You're not doing anything illegal, though. Are you, kid? <laughs> not that I care. By the way, let me ask you. Is there anything you want right now? And I mean something you can buy with money, not some crap like love or a sense of humor. Don't tell me you've attained enlightenment at your age. Back when I was a young man, I never had enough money to buy the things I wanted. When you get to be my age, well, try thinking about it this way. You work to make money so you can have a better life. But to make enough money, you gotta work all the time. So you never get to enjoy that better life you're working so hard to have. Quite a paradox, isn't it? Do you know what the average lifetime income of a white-collar worker is? Including a retirement fund and an annual pension. It's 250 million yen. That's not even close to a lottery jackpot. Thanks to me, you learned something new today, eh, kid? Don't waste your life working all the time trying to get rich. Just take life as it comes. I worked my ass off for a lousy 250 million yen. And for what? I wish I could buy back all the time I lost. I'm going to do it. Good, good. Not bad, kid. Thanks, kid. Bye bye.
relax to the sound that goes around and around and around and around. She said, Hey, 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 feeling the fire with the burning desire. Every time. a magnificent melon, ain't she? It's the highlight of my day. So, I've been thinking of throwing a watermelon splitting party. We haven't really done anything summery since vacation started, you know? Especially Amada. He always looks so bored when I see him. But man, that kills me to see. It'd be a real shame if he didn't have a single entry in his summer picture diary. one of those things you either pick up on or you don't. Mata's eyes tell it all. At least to me. A lonely stare. Oh, I mean, don't you know? They say women can't resist a guy with a soft spot for kids. And you know what that means. I'm gonna need your help. It's a win-win situation, don't you think? And you know, no boy. I think my arms are gonna fall off. 
Ah, yes. Today shaping up to be a glorious day. Such a shame that the third years and the ladies won't be joining us. Um, if we're splitting watermelons, I'm out. What? Just like that? You're not even gonna hear me out? You have a watermelon and a bat. What else could it possibly be? That's more for little kids anyway. Plus, it's really hot out. And look, I get you're trying to be nice. Yeah, for real! Without you, it would just be me and him, you know? And isn't that just the saddest thing you ever heard? Well, when you put it that way, I guess I don't have a choice. I know, Koromaru. Don't you worry, boy. I didn't forget about you. All right! What are we waiting for? The youngest is to draw first blood. Now this is what real summer feels like. My blood's pumping something fierce. Look who's acting like a kid now. <laughs> oh yeah, where's the blindfold? We can't split watermelons with just a bat. Speaking of, this bat seems kind of worn in, doesn't it? Oh, wow. You got that. That bat and I go way back. Had it since I was in Little League. I've never mentioned this before. Must have never had a chance to talk about it. That I used to play baseball. I mean, anyway, that's old news now. Wait, then should we really be hitting watermelons with this? Hmm? Nah, well, nah, it's cool. Don't think I'll be using it much from here on out. <laughs> What's wrong, bud? Dying to chomp on some melon? Hey, come on, Koromaru. We can't swing at the watermelon with you in the way. Koromaru? Hey, why don't we use something other than the bat? See? Senpai thinks so, too. And what else are we gonna use? Um, anything, I guess. Just as long as it's interesting. Interesting? Kind of a weird request. Oh! Like if Sonata-san used his bare hands? Someone say my name? Whoa, Sonata-san. <laughs> well, when I got back, I thought I heard voices coming from the roof. So I came to check it out. Hmm. Watermelon button, huh? That's right! We were just talking about what to use to hit it! You're not gonna use that bat? Yeah, we were just saying you could probably do it with your bare hands. That is tempting, considering how huge it is. Are you sure it's okay? Huh? Uh, sure. If that's what you want. Alright. Guess I'd better make this good then. DA, try not to go all out or there won't be any left to eat. Whoa! Sonata Song, you're incredible! What the heck? How are we supposed to eat it now? I believe that thing was still edible after it exploded like that. Didn't go exactly how I was expecting, but looked like a mod ad. <sighs> Man, I was acting kind of lame back there, huh? You know, before we busted the melon. I'm talking about the whole bat thing. You were just trying to be thoughtful. I didn't want to come off like I was having second thoughts, but I guess I couldn't help it, huh? I was supposed to be this cool mentor, but instead, the kid ends up pitying me. 
Don't worry about me anymore. I'll just get even sadder, you know? I mean, I'm not saying it's your fault. Uh, how the hell do I put it? This is a me problem. It probably doesn't make sense. I feel like my life, my teenage years, it's just all over the place. Anyway, I think we're done for today, yeah? Appreciate you helping me prep and clean up. Well, let's head back downstairs. Ah, good evening. I just came by to check in on Koromaru. Do you think he'll do well? That's good to hear. Well, given his reputation for loyalty, I wasn't too worried in the first place. If you have any concerns, please feel free to let me know anytime. It's only fair, considering I was the one who requested that Koromaru join the squad. Oh, I'm all for Koromaru joining us. He's totally welcome. I'll even throw in training lessons from the master. Um, I'm pretty sure Koro-chan's already more disciplined than you. Could you even sit still if someone told you to stay? Hey, don't compare me to a dog. I'm totally disciplined. I can follow directions, kinda. Yeah, you really sold us on it. Anyway, so, Mr. Chairman, uh, about those summer classes. Ah, yes, I heard about Kirijo-kun's plan. It sounded like a good idea, so I went along with it. No, why would you agree to that? Oh, was I being nosy? Oh, I'm missing out on my passionate summer romance. She's disappearing before my eyes. Farewell, my beautiful city girl, awaiting me by the shoreline. The city or the shores, pick one. Even if you didn't have classes, you'd probably just bum around the station all day. You should just accept your fate. Oh, by the way, Mr. Chairman, weren't you about to tell us something before he arrived? Hmm? Ah, that's right. Aside from my unnecessary meddling, I do have another request for all of you. Does everyone have a moment? I think it's a good time for you all to get a routine health checkup. You know where Tatsumi Memorial Hospital is, right? Oh, that's where Sonata-senpai was treated before. With how much you've all been fighting lately, it'd be best to stay on top of your physical health. It wouldn't be good if your personas were causing any strain on your bodies, right? I expect it shouldn't be too much of a detour to stop by the hospital after your summer classes. I understand. Still, this is rather sudden. Don't worry too much about it. Like they say, a stitch in time saves nine. Or your side. We'll be doing the checkups individually, one day at a time. You can decide amongst yourselves who goes when. Don't forget to deck up for your checkup. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Oh! Maybe bring your evokers in case you need to take any shots? <laughs> yes. You see,
me. Yes. Um. Let's see. dog? Wow, he looks like a smart one. Unlike his owner. <laughs> I'm just joking. So, how's life, man? And I love how the girl in that show has this mature vibe. You know what I mean? Whoa, looks like this guy's had his fair share of fun. Guess we should start heading home then. See you at school.
get on with today's lesson. Continuing on. Let's do just that. We'll get started.
continuing on. Thanks for being so patient. That just about concludes your checkup. Sorry yours ended up taking so much longer than everyone else's. Oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. Although we could have done it another time and taken a full day for it. Your persona abilities are rather unusual compared to the others, aren't they? That's why we had to run so many more tests on you. Well, based on how you've performed so far, I don't expect there to be any problems. Persona abilities can be dangerous, depending on how they're used. With that in mind, it can't hurt to err on the side of caution. How are you feeling about it? Do you have any concerns about your power? to hear, and I don't think there will be any issues with your test results either. I truly am grateful for everything the team has done, especially you. Things have really changed for the better since you arrived. Our team has grown, and we've even figured out how we can eliminate the dark hour. In a way, you've sort of gotten the clock ticking for us again. It's almost as if we were just waiting for you these past ten years. <laughs> I'm afraid I can only support you from behind the scenes. But I'll be counting on you to eliminate the four remaining shadows. Now then, it's getting pretty late. Why don't we get you back to the door? Oops, excuse me for a second. Hello? Oh, thanks for your help the other day. Uh huh. Yes. It's missing from that document? It's urgent? Wait, but, but by today? Iwatodai, Iwatodai. This is the final train bound for Tatsumi Port Island. Please board before the scheduled departure time. You're at Iwatodai Station now. It's so late. We were starting to get worried. Um, did you run into any trouble? Oh, I see. I hope everything's all right. I'll let Kirijo Senpai know. We're in the command room right now. I'll go ahead and navigate you back to the dorm. I'm sure you'll be fine, but considering what happened with Koro-chan, I'd rather play it safe. Everyone else gets 
there. Oh no! There's another reading near the shadow! It's a person! we here. So much power, so much chaos. I'd not be foolish enough to turn my back on such a predator. And on top of that, we have an unexpected guest tonight. Not a very favorable situation, all things considered. So, given this little predicament, how do you intend to partake? The enemy of my enemy is my friend, is it? Sound reasoning. What a hapless night, is it not? Well then, shall we begin? That's your strategy. Can you dodge this? What to do? Never mind. I'll go with Mothman! I'm impressed. It's tougher than it looks. This too is fate. That was quite the spectacle. But it's time to end this. You are a good target. As a reward for your efforts, let me show you my power. Come! Persona! How about this? The finale was surprisingly unsatisfying. What? Hmm. Your persona ability is truly fascinating. It's different from the one I saw the last time, isn't it? So, you can choose from multiple personas to fit the situation. You must be burdened with an extremely unusual fate. It seems your friend has arrived. Then I suppose I'll have to be on my way for tonight. What is your name? I'll see to it that I remember. Enemies though we may be, I'm not one for leaving a debt unsettled. I shall have to repay you another time. Are you all right? Did you already defeat the Shadow? Good work, but that was an unnecessary risk you took. You can fill me in on the way back. In any case, I'm glad you're okay. Yes.
I'm sorry.
seems to be enjoying himself. He's able to go on cherished walks together with his friends. This must be where the summer festival I have heard about will be held. For what reason is it required to equip oneself with this yukata? I would like to infiltrate the site tomorrow to investigate this matter further. <laughs> Welcome back, Koromaru-san. Hmm? You seem to be holding something. He wants you to have this. Perhaps it was part of his secret stash. Shall we return to the dorm? Let us come again, Koromaru-san. Looks rather busy. I guess, be sure not to stray too far from us. Are my words even registering to you? there is to collect here, I cannot help taking time to process. Fine, fine. Just make sure to stay close to us. Hmm? This aroma. This is takoyaki. Would you like to try some? Shopkeep. I would like to purchase one. Shopkeep? Um, got it. Coming right up. Well, aren't you a lucky guy with two beautiful ladies? I'll throw in an extra for you. On the house. On the house? Do the takoyaki have some kind of architectural purpose? Mm. Oh, extremely high temperature juices have spurted out from inside. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Looks as though you've had another valuable experience. You should have some too. Show I guess the true nature of takoyaki. As for me, I'll have to decline. What are those? Those are masks. They're worn over the face as a form of recreation. One can find enjoyment by hiding one's face? Hiding your face isn't the objective, exactly. Rather, you get to experience having a different one. Hmm. 
Putting this into words is proving difficult. So then, by wearing a different face, you are able to become a different version of yourself? Yes, that's about right. Your degree of comprehension is actually quite stunning. At this rate, a few more tests and the chairman may give you permission to go out on your own. I look forward to that. Hey there, ladies! Wanna try your hand in a lucky draw? Make some nice memories, what do you say? Odds are looking good, lots of winning tickets left. Hmm. Why don't we give it a try? Congratulations, you won! Wow, you must have incredible luck to win on your first try. Here is your prize. Enjoy! I have won a water pistol. Between this and my onboard firearms, which is more effective in combat against the shadows? Here, let's trade. In exchange, I'll give you these marbles I won. They're beautiful, don't you agree? Well, I think we've seen all the vendors now. It's starting to get late, so let's head back. Not yet. The mystery of the shooting game is yet unsolved. I precisely struck the item to unbalance its center of gravity, yet it did not even budge. Perhaps you should ask Iori the trick behind it when we return. Come on, let's go.